Welcome back to the New Day One Show, episode number 10. This is our Rock and Roll Friday. Thank you for joining us. Um, today we're going to do a little tiny inspirational message and then a little snippet of one of my original songs, just like we do every day. Uh, however, the topic for today is um, COVID-19. Now, I've this week heard several people um, open their mouths and criticize our government for shutting things down. Saying it's a conspiracy, they're trying to take our rights away, uh, what else are they gonna do? And uh, you know, I would just encourage uh, anybody that has a tendency to think conspiratorially to just pay attention to the facts, okay? It isn't just our government that's talking about this, it isn't just one country or two countries, it's the whole world, number one, and there's health professionals from all over the world that have come together and agreed how dangerous it is, how easily contagious it is, and that once you get it, how severe the symptoms can be. I just uh, read a post on Facebook from a, a dear friend who, um, gosh, not only did she go through a bunch of cancer treatment this year, but just as she was done with the chemo and in, in remission, she gets the COVID-19 virus. She just reported today that she's had three days where she's actually begun to feel normal and she didn't realize until these last three days just how absolutely sick and out of it she was for an entire month. So um, as far as going back to work or going back to normalcy, I think that nobody's going to necessarily stick a gun to our head and make us uh, do the smart thing. However, I'm going to stand with all those that encourage you to wear face masks. By the way, if all you have is a bandana like me, um, Matthew McConaughey said put a folded coffee filter uh, wrapped into it and you'll get uh, much better protection, not only from you not giving out germs, but you getting germs. Um, wash your hands. Um, me, I've always practiced a, a certain hygienic thing when it comes to going in public places, not touching the doorknob with my bare hands, using the sleeve of my shirt or, or my jacket. Um, so I've always practiced that. Of course, now I'm uber cautious about anything I touch and not touching my face when I'm out in public at all. <clears throat> um, but I really believe um, Governor uh, Little announced yesterday that uh, you know we're gonna start in on the 16th today. We're uh, going to, well, actually the show's showing on 17th, so. Um, but he said on the 16th, we're going to allow some businesses to begin to go back to some normalcy, but there's gonna be a lot of restrictions on that. People gotta be six feet apart. Uh, they need to be wearing masks. They need to be uh, practicing the highest hygiene um, because we don't want to see this thing begin to spike seriously upward again. We wanna see it going down, going down, going down. And uh, gradually things will get back to uh, functioning. I don't know that we'll ever be back to normal, at least not for a while. Uh, the economic, um, repercussions of this is, is still unknown. Um, for all those that uh, got the stimulus payment this week, uh, use that money wisely. And uh, that's my inspiration for today. Uh, let's not mess with conspiracy theories about this. Let's just try to do the smart thing, the loving thing, and uh, stay home for now. All right. So uh, the rock and roll portion of this is a, a little snippet of a original online called Love Forever. Hope you enjoy
All right, thanks for showing up, and I'll see you on Monday.